After the big move to its custom tensor chip last year, Google is continuing its quest to use machine learning to unlock enhanced apps and features on the end. While the specs and design aren't major departures from its predecessors, the addition of a smarter software upgraded cameras for the Pixel 7 Pro and aggressive pricing result in two of the best flagship phones for the money. When attacking Google's latest handsets up against the competition, it's best to tackle each phone separately. For the even without much in the way of new hardware, you are getting a phone with a great screen, even better battery life and one of the best software packages around. Now with the new perks like an improved direct mic call and enhanced photo processing. But most importantly, with a starting price of just $599, US dollar, it's a way better value than the basic flagships from Apple and Samsung. The one drawback is that if you need MM Wave 5G, you will have to go with one of the slightly more expensive $699 US dollar carrier models sold by Verizon, AT&T, and others. Meanwhile, with a price of $899 US dollar, the Pixel 7 Pro is like an even more well-equipped version of the S22 Plus for the same money. You get a big 6.7-inch OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, a longer 5x zoom, and superior camera quality. I also think the Pixel 7 Pro flat out looks better too. That leaves stuff like an ultra-wide cam that can sh also shoot macros as a nice cherry on top. Also, if you don't care about the stylus support, I'd argue that the Pixel 7 Pro makes a lot more sense than the super expensive S22 Ultra. But regardless of which one you prefer with the Pixel 7 line and Tensor G2, Google is really showing how a software-first approach to phone design can really shine.